Yo, what it do, everybody? It is uh, your cardboard, Moses, in the house. How are you? I'm doing all right. So I'm doing another break, guys. We're going to be doing 2017, 18 Donruss basketball, half case, 10 box break, number six, eBay style. Uh, I do hope you guys have your uh, your popcorn ready. This is gonna take a it's gonna take at least an hour to do this thing. Are you ready? Oh, yuck. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, y'all, let's get it. And as always, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Abe. Thank you. Scoop this up a little bit. Yeah, see, some people know how I work. Some people know how I work. Making uh, requests early. That's how you should be doing this thing. Where's my... Oh. Later. All right, y'all. Good luck. We'll see what's in this. You know, before I even start, I know I'm going to need more top loaders, so I'm going to grab those real quick. Oh, pack staff half pack stack half. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> well, rah rah, that's precisely why we need top loaders because this stuff is going to be so nice that it needs to be top loaded immediately. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. So begins the journey that is Donra's basketball. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna make things a little bit easier for you guys that are watching. Uh, like I said, it's gonna take a while to do this. It's gonna take probably at least an hour uh, to do this thing. So if you don't want to stick around for an hour, I don't blame you. I honestly don't. So guess what? I do recaps of autographs at the end of the video. So if you want to come back an hour from now and catch the end of the break, I don't blame you. You know, go play with the kids or maybe play with yourself or I, I don't know. Unless, of course, you enjoy seeing a whole bunch of base cards, then hey, stick around. By all means. Uh, but I, I do do recaps uh, of the autographs at the end of the break. You know, fun fact. In case anybody didn't know, you know, also, Veteran Base does not ship in this product. Can you, can you get, can you send it to me, Jason? I mean, it's my birthday, dude. Oh, see, well, Ra Ra's here for the base cards. So, Ra Ra, you know, if I were you, uh, I would be awaiting a massive shipment of base cards. No, you, listen, oddly enough, there are people that have come into the room 
exactly. The sound is soothing of watching packs being ripped open. Like I've legitimately had people just like all jokes aside. I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, well, at least I think you're serious, Ra Ra. But somebody legit told me that. Like they IM'd it to me. They're like, "Look, I know this sounds weird, you know, but you know, I know you see me in the room a lot, blah blah blah." But you know, oftentimes I'm in here just because I, you know, I like the sound of your voice, and, and I like the sound of the packs being ripped open like so. That's all I need, Jason, and you can make me a very happy man. Or you could buy out the rest of that high tech for the tops. You know, that new configuration makes it all all hot all hot fuego. And don't forget, folks, every PYT that I fill tonight, I'm giving away spots in a flawless break. Mason just won one with the one spot mojo. So there is room for activity, y'all. You just gotta get into it. Now, for those of you wondering, what is, what is he doing? Why is he separating guards? That's because I'm separating the veteran base set from everything else. Because uh, veteran base does not ship. In case anyone was wondering. That's why I'm doing what I do. You know, a lot of these cards are also upside down too. Because, you know, for some reason, the uh, you know whoever put the box together was like, yeah, let's do that. Let's put cards upside down and backwards and stuff. Zach Collins, the 99 for the Blazers. I'm down, Jason. I'm down, but you also know how I, how I do. If we ain't doing nothing, then we ain't doing nothing. We got to be doing something. Oh, base there. There is one auto, one relic per box in this product. There's a relic. Devon Reed of the Suns. Uh, yes, Heath, this is an eBay break. Insert. Those retro inserts are pretty cool. What happened today? In this matter of fact, there was a football game on tonight. Uh, obviously, haven't seen it. I think it's still. I'm not sure if it's going on or still anyway. Uh, but what's the deal with that? Julius Randle, the Lakers, to two ninety nine. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh wow! I I can already see what's coming up. So whoever has the Celtics in this break, could you please come in the room and just so I can congratulate you? Falcons lead the Seahawks 24-17 in the third quarter. That's exactly what I'm. You know, I just wanted a quick update. Thank you, Devin and Rara. Appreciate that. Now, who has the Celtics in this break? Like, seriously, come in the room. Like, like, get in the chat right now so I can congratulate you on this Jason Tatum RPA. That is a big-time card. That is big-time. I don't know, Mason. What would you see? That is a nice card. That is a nice card. There you go, Celtics. What is this? I think this will fit. That's what she said. Yeah, she did. There you go. Celtics with a nice hit. What else we got? So much base. John Collins at two ninety nine for the Hawks.
Nothing there. And that the rookies autos would be sick. What about basketball? I know the Heat aren't playing today, but what's it looking like out there? All right, one box down, nine more to go through. I think it's one per case, Devin. At least that's what it's looking like on average. Uh, one case down of this stuff. I mean, one box down, I should say. Celtics about to lose their winning streak. Who are they playing right now? Woo! Really, Ra Ra. How is uh how's my boy Den Dennis Smith doing? That's my vote for er, for the early rookie of the well, he's not gonna win rookie of the year. Ben Simmons keeps that up. Not great. Oh, man. I was hoping you'd be like, oh, man, he's balling, dog. He got a quadruple double up on those fools. It's a Harrison Barnes night. Whoa. Don't see those very often. Got it. Celtics down 10 with 6 minutes left. Well, the way the Celtics have been playing, they can pull that out. Damn. Jalen Brown in his second year has been crushing it. He should thank uh, Gordon's Hayward, Gordon Hayward's uh, leg for that one. Dennis Smith Jr. four of sixteen. That is not good. Eight of eight points only. That means he hasn't been to the charity stripe today. That's not good. I do like the number sixteen though. You know, it it shows that uh, they're giving the rookie shots. Unfortunately, he's not making them. J. Ru Holiday to forty nine. For the Pelicans, I really like Dennis Smith Jr. Like I can't, I can't hide my love for the kid. Kid's a stud. No way! The number one pick to ninety-nine, Markel Fultz.
You know, Ra Ra. Sometimes I feel that way. I really do. That the uh, I'll, then again, you know, I feel like that that happens a lot in just sports period. But what do I know, dude? We just got the first overall pick. And the third overall pick in, like, the first two boxes. Uh, I hope you realize this half case is going to be just like Devin just said. Devin knows the good things when he sees it. It's fire. Where's the fire extinguisher in this bitch? Because I might, I, might I might need to, uh, you know, to cool things down here in a little bit. Because uh, so far the case, the half case, I should say, has been pretty good. Jason Tatum and Markel Fultz in the first two boxes. Jeez, man. Jeez. Hot case, baby. That's what happens when uh, Cardboard Moses comes back to town. So whoever got the Sixers and the Celtics in this eBay break, I hope you're jumping for joy right now. And at least come through in the chat and say thank you, Uncle Jesse. I appreciate Uncle Jesse. I'm going to tell all my friends about you, Uncle Jesse. That would be nice. That way we could just break all night. All night long. Huh. Chicka, chicka, wow, wow. Ivan Rab of the Grizzlies with a patch. Nothing there. My thing though, Ra Ra, is like, I see where you're coming from, but at the end of the day, you still got to put the ball through the basket, you know, and no amount of help the referees give you is going to have you, you know, is, well, is going to help you put the ball through the basket. Unless then, of course, you know, I've actually thought about this. Like, what if they have, like, little tiny magnets in the ball? And then they just activate it when they want to. I don't know. DeJounte Murray to 189 for the Spurs. Of course, I put the Ben Simmons with the rookies and inserts. Ben Simmons has been killing it, man. It makes you think, like, some of these players should just take a... At least the one-and-done players, they should just take a year off. Their actual rookie year, they should just not play, observe. You know, hit the weights and then come back the next year. Just balling like Ben Simmons has been. You know, another one that Porzingis balling too, man. I don't like the fact that they call him a unicorn, though. Like, that should not be his nickname. Like, the unicorn Porzingis. No. He needs something hard. Like, I remember when Andre Karolinko was in the league. I don't know if he's still in the league or not. But, like, he, he used to wear the number 47. And his initials, AK... So you already know, AK-47, one of the hardest nicknames in the game. Yeah, the one-year rule in college really doesn't do anything. It really doesn't. If anything, I feel like it hurts the sport. Celtics coming back down to five points. Hey. Yeah, Kyrie's playing on another level, man. I know LeBron is salty AF, too. You know, I used to like, I mean, I'm not going to say I'm going to root against LeBron. I mean, I was never really a fan of his, really. Even when he came to Miami. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, we got LeBron. Awesome. Yay. It's still Wade County, baby. I was going to make a point, but I forgot what it was.
Anyways, I feel like they should just get rid of that one and done rule too. You know, if they want to come out of high school, let them come out of high school. Let them come out of high school. Exactly, right? I, 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 yeah, I know what it does. But it's it's only hurting the NCAA at this point. I mean, it helps programs like, you know, Kentucky and Duke and, you know, those big programs. I mean, those big programs, well, then again, those programs are going to be balling regardless. Because those are just, you know, basketball powerhouses I just named. But, like, Kentucky, to Kentucky at least, you know, as of late, has been crushing it with the one and dones. You know? But if they want to come out of high school and go straight to the pros, why not? You know, some of the best players of all time came straight from uh, high school into the pros. LeBron James. Kevin Garnett. To name a couple. And probably the most notable high school, you know, players. You know, this this guy named uh, Kobe Bryant also didn't go to college. Came straight from high school. He he did pretty pretty okay for himself in the pros. Who else came out of high school? I think Tracy McGrady also came out of high school. I could be wrong on that one. But I don't know. Calipari is a dirty coach. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but I will say this. With a name like Calipari... At least, uh, I can at least th see Greasy. You know, anytime I see him on ESPN or whatever, doing a, doing a, uh, doing like an interview or something, he just looks greasy. He looks like a mobster. That's also true, Misha. You know, Misha raises a good point, you know. In all seriousness, like, let's say you don't make it to the league. So what? So you, so what? So, so you just gave up. Your shot at an education for a chance at the at, at the pros, and you didn't make it. So now what? You know, I, I agree, man. At least that you know, if they if they at least stay two three years, they're a lot more mature, both physically, mentally, spiritually, blah blah blah. But they also understand the game better, and it just makes you a better pro, man. Not to mention when you come out and you're 20 years old trying to play with grown men. You're going to have a bad time. Sean Camp also came out of high school. I, did, I forgot to mention him. There's been a lot, of, a lot of great players that came straight out of high school and killed it. So they should just go back to that. Damian Lillard to 299 for the Blazers. Yeah, I didn't even know Sean Camp came straight out of high school. Learn something new every day. Hey, listen, if they're down for joining the eBay breaks and they got money, that's that's better for me. You know, I'll answer all those questions that could be easily, you know, be solved if, they, if you just read the description underneath the listing. So, I, you know, again, uh, Veteran Base doesn't ship in this product, so that's why I'm separating it. 299 has on wide side of the heat. Reading is not required. Yeah, apparently, money is a must, though, for show. Sure. Gotta have that. It's a one point game. How much time is left, Mason? For the Timberwolves, Georgiou Dieng with the auto. Nothing there. Two minutes left, winning time. Oh, 
Oh, they like Mavericks. They cannot have you guys winning. You guys need to tank. Need a need an auto out of the. Well, we yeah, never mind. We already got the auto. But we do need the uh, the relic here. Where is it? I think it's in the next stack. Ersan Ilyasova or the Hawks to 299. Uh, any monsters? Uh, well, yeah. The uh, first overall pick and the third overall pick. Uh, swinging Athletics. What? Oh, there he is. Markeith Morris of the Wizards. 289. What else is in here? Nothing there. Y'all keep me updated with that score, man. Because, uh, hashtag, I want to see a Dennis Smith Jr. game winner. That would be nice. That would be sick. In case you guys didn't know, I'm a big Dennis Smith Jr. fan. Love playing, love seeing him play in college. Unfortunately, he got hurt really nasty in college. That's probably why his uh, stock draft went so so down. The kid got the goods. Just like Draymond Green with the goods for the Warriors. That's not numbered. In there, straight rookies in there. Let's put these away. It's a tie game with less than a minute left. Oh, boy. Dennis Smith Jr. game winner. Come on. That would be, actually, that, that probably is a good game to be watching right now. That's what I want to hear. What's up, Frank? Unfortunately, I don't have any prison football personals available, dude. Dang, this thing is super fat. So I'm going to do that first. Let's put it to the side here. I do have flawless football and flawless college football, uh, FST Frank. Give it to the rookie, Dennis Smith. It'd be dope if, he, if it was like a dunk too. If he like dunked on Kyrie or something. At the buzzer? Oh. That'd be great. I mean, I have nothing against the Celtics. I really don't. I just really like Dennis Smith Jr. for the Mavericks. And I still can't believe he fell all the way down to the Mavericks in the draft.
Just got another thick one there. So I think I hit another RPA just now. I'm not sure, but we're going to find out together here. See what we got here. All right, let's start off with these first, just because uh, I said so. So to start us off for the Warriors, we have Kent Bazemore with the patch. Okay. What else we have? We got the insert there. Rookies. What are these? Another rookies, rookies. Numbered 10 out of 10. Jeremy Lin with the two color patch on card auto right there for the Nets. That's kind of cool. There you go. Nets with the Jeremy Lin hit. So we've gone through all our hits just now. The rest are parallels. They went to overtime. Oh boy. Who shot the last shot? It was probably Dirk. Zoe Key of the Rockets, the 299. Look at that haircut. That's how you know he's a baller. You know, anybody that wears a bowl cut, you need to watch out for them. You know, because it means they have uh, zero fucks to give. <laughs> ah, come on. Insert. Got them there. The bowl cut go hard. Yeah, I would not miss with anybody with a bowl cut. If I see you got a bowl cut on, it just tells me you, you don't care about any. If you don't care, you know, it's like you don't care about your appearance. Therefore, you care about nothing. So, you know. I stay in my lane. I stay in my lane. Ben Simmons is something else, man. Four boxes deep. Listen, if I could carry around shooting stars in a nunchuck, you know, and not, you know, go to jail, I would. What kind of skills do you have? I got nunchuck skills, bow and arrow skills. Remember when Lynn had like that, that little two week span where he was like kind of good and then the rest of the NBA was like, oh yeah, well let me remind you, you are, uh, you are, right. you ain't good. Man, I'm at a bio 1099 for the heat. He good though, he good. Conley of the Grizzlies to 
right. So we got four boxes down. Six more to go. As I put this away. Man, I can only imagine how tough it is to watch this. Because it's taking a toll on me. I should probably change my track when I have the chance. Damn it. It's the rookie struggles. The rookie struggles. He gonna be alright. Speaking of my man. He gonna be alright. He gonna be alright. Well, those are all base cards. Bloop, bloop. You know, the Heat don't play until the 22nd, which is Wednesday. We actually, we play the Celtics. How did Tatum do? How did the other rookie do? <laughs> Take a little swig of my drink a drink. My water. In case you're wondering what the drink is. Now that's high quality H2O. So the game's not over yet? They're still in overtime? I don't know, Devin. It sounds to me, well, I'm just assuming right now. Sounds like the game's over. Man, Jason Tatum. Could you imagine? What's up, Black and Gold? Could you imagine if uh, Jason Tatum went number one instead of Markel Fultz? What? Jason, I will not be doing that. Sorry, brother. I just can't. Two minutes left in the OT. OT. Come on, Dennis. Let me let me get that game winner. I need that I need that game winning three pointer or a game winning dunk. Come on. Officially the halfway marker here. Let's see what we got. Separating the uh, veteran base from the rookies. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, man. This this stuff takes a while, man. This break takes a while, at least an hour. Dang, Kyrie balling. Eric Blue, Eric Gordon to uh, one ninety nine for the Rockets. When did Barnes decide to become a baller out of nowhere? Kyrie's just been crushing it, though, this year, man. I don't think anybody, including the Celtics, anticipated the Celtics to be this good this early. Kind of kind of cray. Oh, no, man. It's, it's what I do, man. It's what I do. This how I eat. This how I eat. Away. LeBron's probably super salty right now, man. Why Kyrie got a ball out like that, man? It was supposed to be me and you, Kyrie. Me and you, Kyrie. Me, oh, yeah, man. I got the plug for Earth thing, dog. I got what you need, man. I got what you need. Tyler Dorsey of the Hawks on in it. For the magic two color patch for Josh McRoberts. There you go. Well Legenko. Why would I hit you, man? You know, you you've done nothing to me. Plus, I'm you know I'm a lover, not a fighter, dog. Uh, any major hits? Yeah, Jason Tatum and Markel Fultz so far. Those would be the uh, the biggest hits. The number one and the number three overall pick so far. So yeah, it's been kind of pretty good. What are you looking to get into, Legenco Music? You know, if you're trying to buy, like, full cases of stuff, even half cases, whatever, you know, Uncle Jesse could, could, could you know, could do a little something for you. Just gotta let me know what you're interested in, man. You know, and... and yeah. I'll tell you right now, I'm not gonna remember to email you. Because uh, I'm terrible at remembering things. Unless I write them down. So just hit me up after I'm done with this break. Jordan Clarkson to 189 for the Lakers. Uh, Legenco, the email is ripcitycards at gmail.com. Alright, buddy. That's perfect, actually. If you send me an email... That, that is perfect. I have no choice but to read those, so eventually I will read yours. Malik Monk with the auto 1099 for the Hornets. It's another pretty good uh, you know, autograph right there. There's that. And then the Raider rookies. All right. I am officially halfway through. I like when the rookies get minutes in crunch time, man. You know, that's how you're supposed to grow, man. That's how you get better. Yeah. 
Yes, this is eBay black and gold. Celtics with a six point lead. 30 seconds left. And here comes Dennis Smith Jr. to pull up for three and one. Four point play. Dennis Smith Jr. <laughs> Dennis Smith Jr. commits foul. Fouls out. He ain't doing shit. Come on. Yeah, it sounds pretty rigged right now. Celtics won by eight? No fucking way. Well, I'm glad they won. Now the Heat could end that streak on Wednesday, baby. If y'all want to make some money, bet on the Heat Wednesday. Call on it. And whatever profits you make, give me like... 5%. It ain't much. It ain't much. Somebody IMing me or something? I don't see it. Okay. That was weird. I don't even know how those over-unders... I don't know how any of that gambling stuff works. That's why I don't do it. Oh, there were been Panini points right there. Out the game. Here, Nikola Jokic, who is a sick player for the Nuggets, the 299 right there. I saw the sixer, I thought for a second it might have been AI. Theo Ratliff, though, with the auto for the Sixers. Man, those those jerseys were pretty slick back in the day. Especially when they said Iverson on the back. Doesn't everybody else as well, Rob Rob? There. 
Dennis Smith Jr. 299. The Mavs. See, I make I make gentleman bets with this stuff. Or like even fantasy football does that matter? Like yo, you know, instead of putting debt money down, I put down uh. I put something else down, you know what I'm saying? Alright, nothing in this box. Markel Fultz there. Harrison Barnes to 49 for the Mavericks. Who apparently is a baller now. Then again, that, that's probably what happens when you play for a good coach. One, and the superstar on the team is old and, uh, you know, the first to you. Kind of. There you go, Spencer. Glad you uh, saw that hit, my man. Yeah, the Tatum is always nice to have in your arsenal. As you should, Devin, because uh, Donovan Mitchell is hashtag a baller. Inserts there. Just over here. Yeah, this thing does take a minute, man. I mean, I got this <clears throat> thing on my nose, man. Stephen Curry of the Warriors with a patch. I do that all the time, rah rah. I really do. You know, regardless of what team we're t like, we're talking about one of my teams. If we're talking the Heat, Dolphins, that's my team. Like, oh yeah, you know, I do that too, rah rah. I do that too. And don't sit there and pretend like you've never referred to you and the Patriots as a we. Yeah, you know, we lost yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Andre Iguodala, 299 for the Warriors. So you've never been to a... What? You always refer to the Patriots as the Patriots? Well, that's funny because I always refer to the Dolphins as the fucking Dolphins. Yeah, I guess you can do that when you know you when your team wins freaking Super Bowls every other year. Put it in quotation marks and everything. I have to rah rah like I, I I do. I feel that I feel that connection. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I you know I don't call the Patriots the Patriots either. You know, uh, I would say what I call them, but it's not safe for work. So, you know, and it's not exactly uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like PG or something. Are you a Red Sox fan, Rara? I'm assuming you are. I go hard for my teams, and my teams suck, 
So yeah. I got you, Ra Ra. I got so you can pray on the young, and then you pounce on them. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. Well, there's always a scandal with the hurricanes. It's the hurricanes. You know, I don't know if you guys have heard, but uh, teams are starting to copy the turnover chain. Did you guys see the uh, the Oregon chain? <laughs> Oh my god, that is the funniest thing I think I've seen all day today. Yeah, Oregon uh, football also has a turnover chain, but like you really got to see it to believe it. It's uh, quite comical. Dude, it's so funny. Please, if you guys are watching, please Google it for me. Because it is just hilarious. Oh, was it really swinging athletics? <laughs> Well, listen, Ra Ra, you know, you didn't have to get all, all deep and philosophical on me, dog. I'm just saying, bro. I'm a part of the Heat and the Dolphin teams. I just, I, I just don't get paid. Not in money, anyway. But I definitely hear what you're saying. Jawan Evans to 99 for the Clippers. Really, Ra Ra? I think Ra Ra. I think you're like the only person trying to make money off another human being's, you know, accomplishments or whatevs. I think you're the first ever human ever to do that. You are a trailblazer. How about the Sixers? Did the Sixers play today? Russell Westbrook to 299 for the Thunder. New figure skating is where it's at, Ra Ra. Figure skating is where the money is. Dude, you find someone that can hit a triple axle? What? Money. Money. OG Anunobi for the Raptors to win in there. Playing Bacon Hornets there. For the Pelican, Solomon Hill with the autograph. Yeah, horses, you know, betting on horses is. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. You know, I've always wanted to go to, like, the track and dress up like those people. You know, my lady friend would have, a you know, one of those oversized hats. With the hater blockers on. And I don't know what I, I, I don't know how I would show up. <laughs>
if it ain't rah rah, it don't matter. And you know that's nothing wrong with that. It's I mean it, it's your world rah rah. You know we're just living in it. Straight base there. Come on, need some water. I do, I do admit, it does piss me off when the Patriots win, cause they're so good at cheating and at winning too. So that's where my frustration comes from. Uh, but you know, now that I'm 28 and I'm older and I'm wiser, I don't think I'm gonna hate on them no more. Jeremy Lin with a patch for the Rockets. A little napkin right there. Trying to go these through these as quick as I can. Trevor Booker, 299. Nets. What you know about that legend, Co? About them fuzzy herbs. There, put this away. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I got three boxes to go. I'm almost done. It's been about an hour since I've been doing this break, so I am about on schedule with this stuff. Now, guys, once I fill this break, well, once I'm done with this break, I should say, we are going to be working on store breaks now. Oh, trust me, Jason, I did plenty of drinking over the weekend. That's that's not on my mind right now, Jason. Store breaks, however, are. Yeah, I know, Ra -Ra, I'm a little over an hour. I'm, I think I'm at like an hour and ten minutes or so. But guys, let's fill another PYT here tonight. That way I can give away another spot in a flawless break. You know, my man Mason had a team, had one team in a PYT. Got entered in the giveaway, walked away with a $170 spot. Boom. Just like that. I have 18 teams left in Tops High Tech. Full case in the store. Uh, we could fill another Donruss. I mean, I'm at 15 teams left last I checked. And I don't mind, man. I'll be here all night as long as we're breaking all night. Check the store here if I can. All right, I just checked the store and nothing is full yet, y'all. Showing 15 spots left in Donruss soccer. I mean, Donruss basketball. 17 left in flawless college football. And 18 left in top high tech full case PYT. Every PYT I fill, I'm going to give away a spot in a flawless break of your choice. You know, don't think just because you have one team, you don't have a shot at victory. My man Mason had a one spot. He had a 1 in 27 chance to win, and he did. Do I, do I like ben, ben Affleck and Daredevil is absolutely terrible. The only role I've ever liked Ben Affleck 
Inn uh, was his role in the town. Not sure if you've ever seen that movie, but it's a pretty good movie. Hmm. What is that? To 189, Jonathan Isaac of the Magic. You know, actually, that, that, that brings up my uh, next talking point here. I actually went to see Justice League. And kind of like I am now, I fell asleep watching that shit. I, uh, I was not, not entertained. For the Nuggets, numbered 7 out of 10, Joffrey Lauvern. My favorite player all time, AI. Nothing there. Marcus Morris, Marcus Morris, 299 for the Pistons. I've actually never seen. I, wait, hold on. Have I seen Goodwill Hunting? Is that the one with Matt Damon and he's like a genius and he works as a janitor or something like that? I'm, I'm thinking, probably thinking of the wrong woman. The town is super legit. The Town is a great movie. If you're into like, you know, the gritty crime dramas. That and the Boston accent, just, you know, just really, just really top notch. Just top notch. Oh, so I have seen Good Will Hunting. Yeah, both great movies. Something about Matt Damon that just brings the best out of Ben Affleck, I guess. Dude, I've seen a few Ben Affleck films, and it's just... Oh, the most the most glaring one I can think of... I want to say the name of the, the movie is Reindeer Games? That movie's pretty crap. Hmm. Oh, Dogma 2. He's also in Dogma. And I can, I can cut him some kind of slack in Dogma because it's a comedy. But still. What is this? For the Mavericks page of Soryakovich. Not numbered. But well, that's still pretty cool. Tony Bradley to 299 for the Jazz. I can't think of the movie he that he's in that is just absolutely just god awful. Justice Winslow, 299, the Heat. But yeah, I saw the Justice League and I was not I was not impressed. Uh, I was not not impressed. You know, I know the guy that directed it also made the three hundred movies, but like, you don't have to make like you don't have to use those angles that you used in three hundred and those effects or whatever in a in a in a superhero movie. They're fucking superheroes. Just show them doing superhero stuff. For the Nuggets, Will Barton with the auto. Boop, boop. Well, listen, I'll, I'll give my personal opinion on it. Uh, I fell asleep through half the movie. 
I just I felt like there was too much talking. But again, I I only you know only saw half of it. All right, that's it for that box. Got two boxes left. Almost there at the end. I mean, Swing Athletics, you might like it, though, man. You know, I'm not super into comic books, so I can't... You know, I was just looking at it from a, from a movie, like, you know, just from a movie perspective. Um, really not a fan of some of the, you know, cinematography, you know, the shots he decided to take and whatnot, just... And it's just, you know, the movie's just dark for no reason. Like, not, like, you know, dark... Or I'm just saying, like, visually. It felt like they were trying to... Like, it felt like they kind of rushed the movie. You know, they just threw in all these other random superheroes, and eventually they'll get a movie at some point. You know? To explain everybody in the Justice League, blah, blah. It just, it just seems like it came... Like, the movie came out rushed. You know, it feels like the the director's cut should have been the actual cut for this movie. Um, I just felt it was too short. The action scenes were kind of cool, but not enough. Yeah, ag ag I agree with. I was that was my next statement, uh, Kyle. I was gonna be like, well, you know, if you're on the internet, you know, I would just wait for a good enough version to come out and watch that thing. I kind of want to see the Thor movie, uh, but I haven't seen a single Thor movie, actually. Uh, I know that it's not, you know, I don't think continuity would be an issue there. It's more of an Uncle Jesse issue where I just, I want to see the other movies. You don't like the Marvel movies? I like it, man. I, you know... Although I am a bit biased, you know, I used to read comics and collect comic book cards when I was little and stuff like that. So I am biased. But I feel like comic book movies are cool. I mean, what else are we coming out with nowadays? It's not like there's been... What, what, is, the, what is the last good movie you've seen in a movie theater that is original? It's not a remake. Like, for real. Well, Luke, uh, I'm, I'm, I will, I'll watch it at some point. Uh, you know, one of my friends just hooked me up with her login to, you know, to one of those websites where you can watch movies online and stuff. So if they have it posted, you know, I'll watch it at some point. But like, I can't remember the last time I've seen like a, a, a like an actual original movie that's that's like not a remake, and it's actually pretty good. The latest one I can think of is probably Get Out. Really good movie. Not a remake, not to my knowledge anyway. Everything else is pretty much just a reboot or a remix or you know just putting it out again. You know, I can't wait once they start making, like, anime movies. And they've tried already. They just need to stop whitewashing movies, man. As far as anime is concerned. And, when, you know, once the whole comic book wave is done, I think that's the next wave. Could you imagine, like, a legit Dragon Ball Z movie? Oh, my God. Alright, enough nerding out. As I separate through all this base... The inserts and the rookies and the parallels like OG Anunobi to two ninety nine for the Raptors. Yeah, no, it definitely you know the very first comment you made, Devin, definitely was uh, structured as an, an attack, if you will. Uh, you know, but I, I figured you were trying to make another point. So, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's all good, Devin. You know, I'll, I'll hold back the tears, you know, since you did apologize, you know, relatively quick-like. You 
Now, no auto has come out yet. Gary Harris of the Nuggets to 199. Well, listen, if you're tired of Marvel movies now, Devin, oh, man, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Like, next year, I want to say, like, every month or so, there's going to be, like, a different Marvel movie coming out. So if you're done now, oh, boy, do not go outside the house. Or at least drive past, like, movie theaters and stuff, you know? Andre Iguodala of the Warriors to 299. I know, Devin. I know. I'm, I'm Uncle Jesse. Don't take things personally, doll. Marvel definitely figured it out. Alan Crab for the Nets with the auto. You know, Marvel definitely, my, my thing with Marvel is they're building a universe, you know, where all the movies in the universe intertwine with each other, which is super dope, you know, and it's to the point where it, where it also intertwines with the, uh, the TV shows, like, uh, what's the name of the show that's on, like, it's like the shield or something like I don't know, I forget what it's called. Marvel definitely figured it out. You know, let's make a universe. And within this universe, we're gonna make like a bunch of money, y'all, because we're gonna keep coming out with these movies. Whereas DC was kind of like, oh shit, we should have been doing what Marvel's doing. Now let's catch up. Alright, Batman versus Superman. Boom. After that, we're gonna hit him with the Wonder Woman. And then after that. We gonna hit him with Black Panther? I don't know. Actually, never mind. That's Marvel. Put that put away. Yeah, I've I've also heard uh, Thor is good. I've actually, what I've really heard a lot of is people saying it's it's really funny. You know, they keep talking about this one rock guy that's in there. So, kudos to the rock guy. Well, I'll watch it when I watch it. Matter of fact, I kind of also need to watch Justice League again. Because, uh, you know, I was asleep for half of it. Donovan Mitchell, Jazz. Well, yeah, Arrow would be uh, DC, and so is The Flash, and Supergirl, and the, uh, what's that other sh show they have, where they're like a team or something, I don't know what it's called, George Hill, 1099, for the Kings, put that there. Nothing there. Oh man, can you feel it? We're almost done. We are almost done. For those of you guys still watching, you are a trooper. Last box, Mojo. Nicholas Hagar with the. Uh, with the Ebert and Rober analysis. It's a very well developed film. A box of this retail? I'm not sure. I would have to Google it, Swing in Athletics. Uh, but I want to estimate that it's probably around $80 for a box. Again, I am just going here they remade spider-man because 
I don't know. I guess they weren't happy with the way the other uh, reboot came about. You know, the one, you know the one with Jamie Foxx in that? That like that one flopped pretty badly. But like the new Spider-Man, I really like the new Spider-Man. You know, it's it's Peter Parker as close to the comics as it gets. You know, he's still in high school, he's still a kid. You know, yeah, he's super smart. But he, but he's a kid. That's true, because uh, for, for the longest, Spider-Man was under Sony. So Luke has a great point there. There you go, Swinging Athletics. I'm actually, I need to watch again Justice League. Because I was, I mean, I was half asleep for most of it. But from the parts I do remember watching, I just, I was not a fan of the graphics. Like, it just, it seemed like too much to me, man. But I gotta watch that Thor Ragnarok. Those, I gotta say, of all the Marvel movies, Guardians of the, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies are my favorite. I like Tobey Maguire, except part three. Part three was absolutely crap. All right, last box mojo her. And I'm going to go through this one fairly quick because uh, your boy got to hit this bathroom. Yeah, part three is the one with Venom. With that guy from uh, that 70s show. I don't even know his name. But that movie was pretty not good. Denzel Valentine to $2.99 for the Bulls. Am I allowed to click on it, Mason? Is, is that allowed? Or is that for someone else's eyes only? What do we have here? Alright, I will click it. That's fucking stupid. And what's that thing numbered to 25? Or 15? I just, I see the 5 on there. Oh, well, I see in the description it says 13 out of 25. $10,000 for a card where there's 24 others of them? Jeez. Jeez. That is just... <sighs> Well, I guess we got to open up Flawless, right? I guess we got to open up this Flawless. Calvin Murphy with the Rockets Auto, number 2 out of 10. Yeah, I think I can definitely sell it, Mason. That is not the problem. Problem is, do I have peeps that want to get into it? And uh, after having seen that link, I think they may want to. Especially considering I have five spots left in a flawless basketball hit random where you're guaranteed a card. And who knows? Maybe maybe I pull that Lonzo ball with the diamonds in them, dog. That'll go for about 10k on eBay. So uh, let's get that stuff filled, y'all. Let's get that stuff filled. It's like I said, every PYT I fill on the website, I give away a spot. Mason won a spot earlier today in a break of his choosing. 
He chose 16-17 Flawless Basketball, which is loaded. Absolutely loaded. And you can win a spot in a Flawless Break of your choosing as well. But well, we got to fill a PYT first, y'all. J. Ru Holiday of 199 for the Pelicans. Well, Devin, it's because he can do everything else, man. Take into consideration, he's only 21 years. Like, I think he can't even buy beer yet. I don't even think he's 21. Like, the kid is doing whatever he wants aside from shooting the ball. But he can do everything else, dude. A poor Zingas is also going for that stupid money. Jesus. Well, uh, looks like we're going to be uh, filling Flawless Basketball next, right? Last I checked, got five spots left in that. Nikola Vucevic of the Magic to 299. And also, uh, Devin... It's you know it's also based on potential. You know, so if if he lives up to his potential and exceeds it, you know, that guy that paid ten thousand dollars for that card, who knows? It might have it might double. You really never know, man. It's sold for thirteen thousand. Watch. Let him win rookie of the year. You know what I mean? And like advance deep into the playoffs or whatever or just have like a really good rookie season i guarantee you same dude could probably flip that card and make some money on it you know, it kind of reminds me of that one aaron judge card uh a while back that some dude sold for like 20,000 or something ridiculous like that and it wasn't it wasn't even like a high number judge it was numbered to like 30 or 40 or something like that 13 stacks for Alonzo Ball diamond hashtag G's What was this? <coughs> and this should be it for the break. Dwayne Wade, 1099 for the Bulls. Boom, boom, boom. And that's it for the break. You bookmarked the eBay auction. Just to be like, dang, look what this look what's possible. Alright, so that's it for the break, y'all. And it is time for the recap. You already know how I do things. Alright, let's recap this for you guys. Move this out the way. There you go, Mason! Might as well, right? Might as well. All right, let's recap this, y'all. So we got Calvin Murphy, Rockets. Alan Crabb, Nets. Will Barton, Nuggets. Solomon Hill, Pelicans. Theo Ratliff, Sixers. Malik Monk, Hornets. Jeremy Lin, Nets, Georgie Dieng, Timberwolves, Markel Fultz, the number one pick for the Sixers, and Jason Tatum, the number three pick for the Celtics. That was the break. That was 2017-18 Donruss basketball, half case break, number six eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.